So guys, today I'm gonna show you guys what the side skirts look like and what we're gonna be putting on the beetle. What is going on guys? It is your boy Zeph from Cruise Customs and today we're back at it again with another video. But I'm gonna let you guys guess what we are doing today yeah, you're right. We are working on the Volkswagen Beetle, but today we got something special. We're going to fix that issue on the side skirt. So we got some side skirts that are we're going to be retrofitting on the car. Got to make them fit. So today it's going to be a lot of sanding, a lot of cutting up, and a lot of making stuff fit. But first, we got to go move these cars around, get the Beetle ready for this job. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into it. Let's hop into this car, move it real quick so we can move the Beetle, have more space to do what we're about to do. Cause it's gonna be a long process and we're trying to get stuff done. So now that we got this done, cars moved around, baby blues over there, now we can get to work on these ugly side skirts. I'm gonna go grab them out of the garage, but as you guys can see down here, this whole thing is punched in. Um, we, If you guys didn't know, we bought the car originally from an auction, an auto auction, and I guess the forklift did this when they were bringing it out. It's pretty bad, um, but you can't do anything about it. So, I mean, it is what it is. This side was messed up, but they also messed up the other side with the forklift. So it's kind of like, <laughs> tough situation as you guys can see like it's pretty bad over here as well right down there it's pretty bad so today we are going to fix that we're gonna get this beetle looking spiffy as best as it can because right now that is the only issue is those bad side skirts and you can't replace them or else we would but we got some retrofitted from the uh, model before the mk4 beetle i believe it has the same width span from each tire length so they fit right but you do got to do a couple minor modifications which is cutting and sanding and making them fit onto the way the body lines are but we're gonna do that today get that over with bang some bodies in and get these fitted so let's get it so guys i'm gonna show you what the side skirts look like what we're gonna put putting on the car they're gonna be retrofitted they're gonna look pretty decent and uh this will help give a look at what we're gonna do with wide bodies and all that stuff this is kind of just a starter these side skirts do hang a little bit low. We'll see that in a minute. These are the side skirts right here. These are what's going to be being put onto the Beetle to make the side skirts look better because this will cover up all the bad dents and all that and it'll make the car look a lot, lot better. So, sorry, it's hot out here, but we're going to get this done. And um, yeah, so these, I'm going to give a little backstory. These are an MK4 beetle and then we're going to be retrofitting it onto the mk5 beetle which is this one it's called the new beetle they only made this one in one model with one motor so there's not any modifications so we have to retrofit a lot of things or make a lot of things ourselves so this right here is what we're going to be doing today because this will take care of that that big dent down there i don't know if you guys can see it that dent right there this will take care of that just by putting that on there so Hopefully this will fix the issue. It's gonna take a little bit. We gotta cut up and sand different things on here just to make them fit because they are made for a different vehicle. And yeah, let's get to it because we gotta do some banging and tapping before we do this because the side skirts did get messed up by a forklift. Like I was saying earlier, they got messed up by a forklift. So that's bad. The other side's bad. So right now we're gonna get that settled. I'm gonna bang this in a little bit so that we can fit the side skirt underneath the door trim and have perfect fitment and yeah let's just get to it because it's gonna be a long process and it's better to get it done now than later guys i banged it out and i got this side to fit right um so i put them on and i'll show you guys a little bit around it because there's space around a lot of it and it needs to get trimmed out to be able to fit correctly so we're gonna get into that so as you guys can see the side skirt is pushed up all the way against the body and to be able to fit this gap right here i'm gonna have to shave a little bit off of there not too major go over here there's a big gap over here so that also means we got to shave a little bit here but we do have to shave a lot off of this right here just so we can push it up so that this body line meets go over here we push this back in you guys can see it's hitting on the body right there and to be able to get that fixed we got to cut out this and 
shave this out a little bit so that it fits right. Same with the other side. The other side fits a hell of a lot better, but we do gotta do some trimming on this side. See right here, it's hitting, so that means this can't lay flat. So you gotta fill the body line in, do all that, make this sit right, you know what I'm saying? This side fits better. Don't have to do any trimming here, but we are gonna have to trim out a little bit anyway to cut up along here because there is space in between the fender right here and we don't want that so let's get to it i'm going to get the dremel and we're going to start cutting and figuring this out guys i started cutting up and i cut up a little bit here i cut up some of the back side and now we got this kind of sitting flush ish now i gotta cut a little bit out here and this body line so that this top part lines up right and then we'll start cutting up here and all that mojo jojo you know what i'm saying because uh to be able to get it to sit flat we gotta cut up a little bit here oh my god we're gonna have to cut a little bit out here just so that it fits up against this part and then we'll be able to push this up against this and cut out the body line of this right here and then that should be simple so let's get it so guys so far i cut down the side skirt a lot down here and right here just so i could get that fitment to fit right here um before it was sticking out about here and i got it to where it with a screw it'll fit on the body nice if i put a screw right here and drill it into the body um I gotta finish finding this line out and getting this to fit nice because one key thing that I've been running into while doing this whole side skirt is this little panel piece right here. Um, I gotta cut a little bit more out but it's kind of hard because you have to cut this out and then shave it to where it fits on the body line here which is a pain in the butt and on top of that you open the door up. You got this body line right here that you have to follow and cut down as you push the side skirt towards the car. So it's a lot of fine details getting into it. I also gotta finish cutting up the front up here. I pushed this in. So far I got it to where this front piece is lined up. I gotta cut some more off of this right here and move it more towards the edge of the side skirt just so we can have that line just like we do on the back and it won't be too out of the blue it'll look like it flows with the body and all that nice stuff so we're gonna get that done i gotta shave some more here shave this back some so it's gonna be a long process but i'm gonna get this done because tomorrow hopefully my dad will paint the side skirt and we'll get this one done and then we'll do the other one and it'll be good so it's hot man i'm trying to get this done and it's taking forever so i'll be cooling anyway guys i'm cool oh wait i am cooling got the side skirt somewhere close to being done i gotta do fine sanding and all that stuff but so far so good i got this line to line up pretty well but i do want to cut it out just a little bit more to get this pushed in just a little bit so that this line here isn't as bulky towards the body i want it to kind of be the same as the back is so i gotta get that lined up a little bit and make sure that's all good but it's setting real nice right now. So you guys can see this backside, I gotta shave off a little bit more here so that I can get this body line to fit up because this is what's blocking all this to be up against the car. So all I gotta do is shave a little bit off of there, shave a little bit more off the backside. As you guys can see back here behind the door, shave a little bit more off here, push this in, and then we'll have 
this nice body line and back here I got this all shaved up pretty nice I want to shave this a little bit more but I'll do that probably with sanding because when I push it in you guys can see there's space in between little spots so I got to trim a little bit back here get this all to fit but it'll fit with a screw and it'll look nice but so so far so good so you guys can see if we move on to the other side this side is not done yet but you guys can see how much I've worked off of it because you guys see this space right here there's so much space in between the body and the side skirt so doing all that cut out all this space here fit it up against the body same with here same underneath the door and we got this fitting up nice too as well so all in all it's turning out real good I'm happy with the product this is taking forever I've been out here for three hours already drilling out cutting away and sanding this away and it's the progress you got to trust the process and we're almost there so hopefully by tomorrow I have this semi done so I'll have it sand up mounted and ready cut drilled the holes and all that good stuff and have it ready to be mounted on the car and painted and then I can start on the other side hopefully get that done quicker because now I know what I'm doing and yeah hopefully it'll be bigger so let's uh, skip to the next day the next day hey guys it is the next day and today we uh finished kind of doing a little bit of everything on this side that we had started yesterday so this side is looking pretty decent i just need to get some bolts to screw it into the body but everything is fitting up nice uh, i just need to do some final touches with sanding but i'm gonna go get screws and stuff before i do all that because i need to tie it into the body but everything is looking up right now and is looking good so hopefully We'll get this done by today, get the other one done also today, and then get them prepped and ready to get sanded on the edges, get them ready for paint tomorrow, and yeah, so we can get this all done. Um, next week's video is going to be the painting them and getting them like mounted up. So today we are just going to be pretty much sanding them and mounting them up on the car with screws getting them screwed in and making sure everything fits nice so with that said i need to go pick up some bolts from uh, ace hardware so what better to do it in than baby blue let's go to ace pick up the hardware come back get this side mounted and then get the other side done and messed around so we got the hard side done and it's out of the way and we're about to get the easy side done so yeah let's get into it let's hop in the car and let's go to ace All right, so we just got out of Ace and uh, got the bolts right here, man. So we got some uh, dress up hardware and some trim screws just so that we can uh, have a flat surface over the top of the side skirt and drill it into the sides of the side skirt. So we got some, some good hardware right here. Um, I just got home, so we're about to get this started and then knock out the other side skirt because I want to get this over with so we can uh, call it a day. You know what I'm saying? So uh, let's get to uh, drilling these in and making sure that the beetle's looking spiffy, all right? And then we'll get to sanding once we do all this because, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's get into it. So actually, I just decided to do sanding first. I found a sanding pad because I don't have any sandpaper around the house and I can't find the the sander that this attaches to so I'm just gonna use it freehand and sand down the edges make sure everything looks good so I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'm gonna show you the finished product after we do that so we can bolt it in and do all that good stuff so as you guys can see right now it's kind of jagged around the edges and it's kind of weird so the sanding is gonna take care of a lot of that it's gonna make it fit a lot better as well so we'll have that and then everything should fit a lot better around the edges so let's get this done real quick and uh, call it a day so guys i just finished sanding everything and i put the first bolt in right here exactly where i wanted it i'm gonna put another one here and i'm gonna do the same thing up front over there just so we can uh, get these mounted and secured and then we're gonna start on the other side to get these done so so far guys i put a screw here and i gotta put the screws in along the line underneath the door here 
but I did put two screws right where I said I was going to. I put a screw here and a screw here. I gotta get some Bondo and fix this because uh, when I screwed this in, this top cracked. So we're just gonna fix that when it comes to getting unpainted, get that all restored. But so far, everything is looking good. So now I'm gonna drill holes here, even them out all the way down through here and get this situated so that uh, everything fits up here. I'm gonna drill pilot holes and then I'm going to put the screws in. I got some trim screws. These are like dress up hardware. They got little uh, rubber pieces to make sure that you don't over tighten it and crack something. So we're gonna get these screwed in so that it's not mobile and uh, call this one done. I guess I grabbed the wrong drill bit because this one bent. Look at that. Um, so let's switch this up and uh, get a better drill bit so that I can drill into the body. Let's get it. So we got a better size one right here. Let's see if this fixes the issue and let's get this drill bit done. What the hell? Fool, this is not okay. We just broke a drill bit. Like, you <laughs> like. All right, so I just grabbed a different one. Um, there's like three different types in here, so I grabbed this one. Maybe this one's the right one because I'm just trying to drill into this body. So guys, I just got this one side done. I bolted it down and everything. Everything's looking straight. Um, there's one thing though, the body curves a little bit on the body line. So the door up here, the bolt sticks out when it should be underneath the door, which I didn't realize that was gonna happen because the body line goes right under here and goes right across. So this, I don't know, we're gonna have to find something out about this, figure something out about these bolts up top. But other than that, pretty sturdy it's a little flimsy down at the bottom but it looks good so instead of wasting your guys' time doing the other side and recording it because this video is already pretty long for what it is i'm going to knock that out and we're going to end the video off here for this part come back next week and we'll have everything set up painted fitted everything will be done and we'll get a final look at what the car looks like but i'm gonna get started on this other side knock it out real quick and talk to you guys later so uh like share and subscribe to the video you know what i'm saying go for part two and i'll see you guys soon it's been zeph from cruise custom deuces